Hi, I'm Aaron Zeises. My family and I have been volunteers with UJ Federation for a long time, and I'm delighted that you're participating in this year's Super Sunday. Each year, hundreds of volunteers like yourselves gather to make calls in Manhattan, on Long Island, and in Westchester, and together we expect to raise over $1 million. The purpose of this short video is to help you get comfortable with making Super Sunday phone calls. If you've received and are watching this video before Super Sunday, you can go straight to the phones upon your arrival. If you're watching this video on Super Sunday, welcome, you're in for a rewarding day. Hi, I'm Susie Stern, and I'm thrilled to be here with you because UJ Federation is such an incredible organization. So what does UJ Federation do? We offer hope, inspiration, dignity, and opportunity. And we do that by supporting more than 100 agencies that help four and a half million people every year here in New York, in Israel, and around the world. We provide a safety net for the most vulnerable among us. Right here in New York, we help 54,000 Jewish children living in poverty and the 38,000 Holocaust survivors who want to live out their lives with dignity. We also help Jews in Israel and over 60 countries. This includes 350,000 Israeli children at risk and the staggering number of impoverished seniors in the former Soviet Union. We help ensure a strong Jewish future by funding community centers, camps, Hillel's, and the very successful Birthright Israel trips, sending over 6,000 young New Yorkers every year. We are constantly planning for long-term needs, yet we are always ready to respond decisively to the next big crisis. In New York, for example, we created seven connect -to care centers that have helped over 30,000 families regain stability during these very difficult economic times. At your seat in the calling room, you will find calling instructions and a placemat with a phone script. This script will walk you through a suggested conversation. You'll also find the answers to common questions, and don't worry, their professional staff will be there to help you anytime you need it. Next, you will be given a stack of pledge cards. It includes the donor's name, address, phone number, giving history, and a suggested donation amount. During the course of the call, we ask you to note any new information directly on the pledge card. First, when you get that pledge from a donor, pat yourself on the back and then fill in the amount on your card. If there are any changes in the contact information, including address, email, or phone number, please note that too. For those donors who prefer to receive information about us in the mail or prefer not to give over the phone, simply check off Send Material and we will follow up. And if a donor declines to give, let us know why by checking off the appropriate boxes. Finally, if no one answers, please do not leave a message. Simply check the call back box. Now Susie and I are going to role play a phone call. Remember, the people you're calling have most likely made a gift to UJ Federation in the past so they should be willing to take your call. Hello? Hello, is Mrs. Stern there, please? Yes, this is Mrs. Stern. Hello, Mrs. Stern. My name's Aaron, and I'm calling you as a volunteer for UJ Federation Super Sunday. I'd like to thank you for your past support. Given the state of the economy, we need to continue to care for the neediest as well as those hurt by the recession. This year, can we count on you for a gift of $360? Mm, I'm not so sure. It sounds like a lot for me right now. Think about it as a dollar a day. Does that work for you? Oh, a dollar a day. Okay, I think I could do that. That's great, Mrs. Stern. Thank you so much for your gift of $360. Is your address still 130 East 59th Street? Yes, it is. Thanks. Can I also get your email address to help us keep our mailing costs down? Sure. My email is stern at gmail.com. Thank you so much, Mrs. Stern. Have a great day. And thank you. Okay. That seemed pretty easy, didn't it? Of course, not everyone will agree to the first amount you ask for. If the donor says it's too much, you might say, I understand. Given the needs, would you consider giving the same as last year? If the donor cannot match last year's gift, please ask what amount he or she would be comfortable giving. Remind them that it's important to be counted as part of the community. Now, for some final tips. Keep a smile as you speak and try to be warm and friendly. And, whether the donor makes a gift or not, remember to say thank you. Don't get frustrated. 
Not everyone will be home to answer your call, and you'll certainly speak with some people who just don't want to give. Remember, you're not asking for yourself. You're asking for the four and a half million people around the world who depend on us every year. You may also speak with someone who needs help. If the need appears to be immediate, give the phone to a UJ Federation professional. If not, you can give the person the phone number for our J11 Information and Referral Center, or you can check off the box on a pledge card and a professional will call them during the week. Finally, if people have questions about their account, please check off that box. Someone from our donor center will call them back. Thank you for completing our Super Sunday online training. Oh, and how could I forget? Have you made your donation to UJ Federation already? I know I have, which is one of the reasons I can ask others for a gift with confidence. If you have not made your donation, please take a moment to fill in a pledge card before you leave the training room. Or, if you're watching this video at home, please click on the link to the Super Sunday donation page and make your gift online. Finally, please consider asking your friends and family to join you in your commitment. Let them know how important this is to you. There has never been a more important time for us to come together to create a more caring community. Thank you again for helping us on Super Sunday.